In this Terminal 101 series, we will look at five power user commands. Coming up. So there we have it. At number five, the first command, which is a well-known command. That's the top command, which will list available processes on your Mac. Now, you can see at the top the total number of processes, the running processes, and we can see that most of the processes are actually asleep. We can also see the number of threads. We can see, in terms of CPU, we actually differentiate between what is known as user processes and system processes. So in terms of CPU, user processes actually consumes about 4% and system processes consume about 5%, 4 5%. We can also see memory utilization. Now, uh, when we head to the table itself, we can see the process ID. Another thing which is very important to look at is the parent process ID. That's the process that actually started this one, that process. We can also see the service or the app that actually um, started the process itself. We can see the CPU utilization, the time, and we can also see the state of the process. Let's move on. The next command is LSOF. LSOF is list open file. Now in Linux, everything is a file. A connection is a file, a socket is a file. We can use that command to actually see which processes are using different ports. Now it's a good thing to do since sometimes we can find out that an app that we just don't use it anymore is using or opening a port that can be a backdoor to exploits. So how do we do it? LSOF hyphen I, and now let's list the port. Let's start with port 22. Port 22 is actually the SSH port, and we can see the user who is using that process. We can see the device, the MAC address of that device, and we can also see the source and destination and the state of the session itself, which currently is established. So both parties can actually connect. Another thing, let's look for 443. 443 is HTTPS. That's the secure HTTP. Now we can see that Google is using it. We can see that we have established uh, sessions and we can also see that it uses it under different protocols. Uh, TCP and UDP. UDP probably for the secure DNS connection. Alright, so let's move on to the netstat command. Netstat is also available on Windows, Linux. It is a well-known command. We'll use it with the hyphen uppercase A and when we press enter, let's just stop it since it gives us tons of information we can see different sockets different sockets on our mac now we can also see uh, the flow hash of each socket we can see the protocol that is being used we can see the source address and the destination and we can see the state of the socket which is mostly established unless it is in closed weight that is the socket actually waits to free up its resources uh, before it tears down the socket itself, the connection itself. The fourth command is quite simple, yet it is practical. If you want to see immediately who is the router behind your interfaces, then you type ipconfig get option in zero is my wireless adapter and router when you press enter you can see that my router that is the gateway that i'm connected to is at the 10.0.3.1 and now for the last command which is the caffeinate command if you want to keep your mac awake 
and not go to sleep, then you can use the caffeinate command. Now, when you use it, your Mac will be always awake. If you want to make him sleep again, just use the Control-C buttons.